What's good with y'all, man? I want to come talk to y'all real quick, bro, about some real dead game. You feel what I'm saying? I want to first ask y'all, bro, to thumbs up these videos, bro, to help these videos get out to people that it is it could help bro only if you help contribute you feel what i'm saying but i want to talk to y'all right now about faith bro now this this right here could go for believers or non-believers whether you believe in god or not you feel what i'm saying but just know god is faith because faith is what i'm about to talk about you feel what i'm saying so you better believe in god if you believe in faith bro because he is faith so i'm just saying it like that uh manifesting junk into reality that's not of god bro you know what I mean? That junk is not of God, bro. That's that's basically saying that you can do everything yourself. You can make you can call your own blessings. You can fix your own problems. Whatever you want, you can do all yourself. And that's not cap. That's cap because people with problems right now, if they can do it themselves, they won't have problems because they would have been dead it themselves. You feel me? You need God, bro. You need patience. You need discipline. You people got to stop being scared of going through those hard times, bro. Because God said, uh. I can do all things that through Christ who strengthens me, right? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, right? If I'm saying that correctly. Through Christ who strength. So without Christ's strength, you can't do nothing, bro. That is facts. I'm just being real. So I was talking earlier today about faith, bro. So it's two, it's two types of riches in the world, bro. You got the worldly rich and you got the real rich. What rich really is. What rich really mean. You feel what I'm saying? So... The really rich is you got money, okay? With money brings comfort because you're like, okay, I don't have to stress about nothing. Because this world is based off money. Evil and money. Money is the root of all you. So money. Money, right? And it's more evil, of course, but money is what I'm talking about. So when people has a steady stream of income, when they feel like they rich, got a lot of money, they feel like they so in some way, shape, or form have a form of comfort, right? A lot of people that has money feel like they don't need God. A lot of people that have money, uh, they grow the spirit of pride in them. A lot of people with money, it's so much problems that's rooted from money. You feel me? And then you have the other rich, which is spiritually rich. Rich through Christ, rich through faith. Let me put my phone on silence uh, real quick. So you got the other rich, which is uh, rich through faith, right? So when you rich through faith, you also have uh, you have you have an understanding of overcoming uncomfortability. So if you're uncomfortable, and for you to overcome that uncomfortable feeling through faith, you're not rich because, let's say for instance, if when God puts you in situations of suffering, just like we talked about yesterday in yesterday's video, suffering, right? Let's say he puts you in a midst of suffering, in a suffering season. That suffering season is only a suffering season because you're going through that season so that you can make it out of that season with the knowledge and discipline and understanding of what faith really is. So then when that season come again or another life situation hit or the devil trying to attack you with that situation, you overcame it. Because you have faith Faith in Jesus Christ is going to deliver you out of that You feel what I'm saying So let's say if somebody with money That's worldly rich Versus somebody that's spiritually rich Through faith, through Jesus Christ Put both of them in an uncomfortable situation And I bet you the one That's spiritually rich Through faith in Jesus Christ Will make it out way before the one That's rich only through paper money In the world, right Because money is not a living thing Faith is a living thing you know what I mean? You can take money away. You can't take faith away. Faith has to be broken. And that's only if you allow your faith to be broken. You feel what I'm saying? You can't just take faith away. Faith has to be broken. You feel what I'm saying? Anybody can say You can get sued and get your money took. Somebody can steal your money. Money, money is just paper, bro. We give money the power that it has, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Come on, dog. You feel what I'm saying? So we got to understand, bro, that... Just because you're rich, rich is only comfort, right? But when you're uncomfortable and you're still comfortable, when you're comfortable with being uncomfortable because you have faith in Jesus Christ, you've now became rich. Because you can overcome any situation that will not panic you, make you fear, 
that will not go outside of your faith that will not trouble you because you have faith you can you can overcome so many things deeper than money and currency with the power of faith in jesus christ bro only with money you can only overcome so much problems finances buying things what about spiritual problems what about emotional problems what about problems outside of a purchase you don't have the power outside of that because your god is money your god is transaction you feel what i'm saying you can strip me of every dollar i got and i'm learning right now how to overcome panic i'm learning right now how to overcome uh looking with my eyes and not with my spirit i'm, I'm overcoming that bro we have to look with our spirit and not our eyes, bro. Because I'm going to give you an example, bro. Let's say if we've seen miracles happen in life, bro. That was God. That was Jesus Christ. That was God, bro. I, you Can't nobody on this that's watching me right now tell me they have not seen a miracle work right before their eyes. That just made you say, thank you, God, so much. Can't nobody tell me that God has never worked a miracle in their life, bro. Let me tell you how. Because you're watching this video and you woke up this morning. That's one. So anyway, what I'm saying, bro. Y'all got to just keep that faith, dog. Even when it's hard. And I'm not going to sit here and cap to y'all, bro. Like, everything going to be just glitter and gold when you're going through these uh, trials and tribulations to strengthen you. It's going to be very hard. Because you know why? Because the reason why you're going through it is because you don't have the understanding. The whole point of you making it out is for you to understand it. But to make it out, you have to go through it. Right? So when you first going through it, I'm not expect Me? I, bro. Not even me. God not expecting you to pass it as soon as he puts you through it, bro. It's going to take time. That's why when he bless you with one thing, he really blesses you with way more than one thing, bro. He might be teaching you about faith, but through that faith trial, you might be learning patience, too. You might be learning discipline, too. You may be learning endurance, too. You may be getting your character built through that. So you getting blessed way more than just one thing, bro. That's why in the new song I got, I said, if I lost everything I got while following his way, then he going to double up. That is facts, bro. It ain't even all about money, bro. God ain't going to let you be... God, now, nah, God ain't going to let you fall straight on your face, bro. And just be, like, down bad out here, bro. That just... That's not clean. You know what I'm saying? That's just not... That don't make sense. Unless that's in his will for him to get glory and bring you out of that, then he not just going to let... He, he not going to let you just fall on your face, bro. Like, I don't, I don't think he'll do that. You feel me? Unless that's in his will... For him to one day bring you out of that for his glory But if it's not of that I don't think he'll just let you fall straight in your face I just don't think that's something he'll do You feel what I'm saying But I'm here to tell y'all man If y'all would just keep faith bro And I know it's gonna be hard bro It's gonna take you some time to learn I'm not expecting you to come out the gate with faith bro Cause I didn't come out Don't nobody come out the gate with faith You feel what I'm saying Faith takes time to learn and have Like it's a process but once you finally get it, you're going to look back at this video and be like, dang, I know what Rich was talking about, bro. I know what he was talking about. Think of how many times when we didn't have faith, how depressed we were, how anxious we were, how, how much anxiety we had. That's what the devil wants you to do. But when your faith is strong, you're like, man, God got that. I, got my, I gave my promise to him. He got it. I ain't worried about it. I ain't tripping. Because God got you, bro. God wants you to rest. He wants you to rest in uncomfortable situations. When you rest in uncomfortable situations, he's like, okay, you now have the power of overcoming panic. You now have the power of looking with your spirit and not with your eyes. Because your eyes looking at that bill that's doing this money and, your, and looking at your bank account, and you ain't got the money, but your bill still got paid because you had faith. Your eyes are looking at it like, dang, I don't know what to do. Now you panic and depressed. You want to off yourself. But if you was looking with your spirit, you'd be like, watch that bill get paid. Anyway, what y'all saying? That's a fact. Because God wants you to rest. When he say rest in my promise, bro, rest in knowing that he's going to make it happen. Don't panic saying, God, when are you going to make it happen? Don't try to think. Don't try to think in the future next month. You're not God. You're not nothing, to be honest. We're not anything without God. We're dust, just like what we was made of. And women, y'all are just a, a rib. 
nothing basically is what i'm saying nobody is nothing without the lord and savior jesus christ i'm just gonna be honest and this ain't even about no religions john this is facts i don't get on here at first y'all i was new age i ain't even believe in jesus christ so i won't get on here and just tell y'all jesus christ is the way if i haven't if he didn't come to me himself and show me and change my whole life right before y'all eyes bro y'all think i asked to be here talking like this no i didn't i was running up asmr videos getting a check bro i sacrificed views the guns i sacrificed everything because he i know he's real and he's moving in my life bro y'all think i asked really for my channel to die y'all think i asked for my finances to go down y'all think i asked for this right come on bro you crazy i made these sacrifices because i know my lord and savior is real bro and he worth every sacrifice i done made before y'all get on here and say somebody not real just look at what's going on right before y'all eyes, bro. Think about it like this. This man just sacrificed 400,000 subscribers. He just sacrificed his income. He just sacrificed all everything he had going for himself, bro. He, he gave a lot of his stuff away. Who, who on earth would do that? If they haven't met Jesus himself, who on earth would do that? You wouldn't do it. But I was called and chosen. He chose me. I didn't chose him. That's written. I'm ch I, he chose me. So therefore, all the non-believers and people that's looking at me like, dang, you done. This is sad, bro. You sad, bro. You not fell off. Watch this, bro. I'm finna exercise faith in your face right now. Remember this time stamp, 11:10, 11:11, whatever it is on the time. Remember this time stamp. I'm finna exercise uh, faith in your face. Watch this channel grow bigger than it's ever been. Watch on this channel. I can do whatever I want to spread the word to God. And it's going to do as much numbers as it, as my channel was doing the first time. I'm going to throw screenshots one day and show y'all all of this, bro. And it's going to be right in front of y'all faces that didn't believe, bro. Watch this. I'm doing 1,000 views a video in a day now. But watch, bro. Give it time. Wait till God come and lay his hands on all, everything I'm got going for him. And just watch before y'all eyes, bro. And do y'all need to see a miracle for y'all to believe in him, bro? That's cool. He, he, it's okay. When he came down here the first time, he had to work miracles too. Okay, that's cool. So, watch him work a miracle in front of y'all face. Maybe that'll make y'all a believer. Maybe it'll make you a believer then. You feel what I'm saying? Because I feel like a lot of y'all need to see miracles. And he ain't got no problem showing y'all a miracle because he did it in his first time coming down here. He'll show y'all that he real. And when he real, you better go to him and, and really go to him, bro. Not because you want a miracle in your life, because you know that he real. You actually got a savior out here that's going to deliver you from all them problems and all that BS that you can't overcome by yourself. I'm not saying all your problems are going to be gone. But just know, bro, you're going to have a, a fat crib in heaven waiting on you. And you're going to be able to look at Jesus Christ all the time and just be, live with him. And you're going to be able to live with the father, bro. The father that sent Jesus Christ in the first place. You're going to be able to live with him, bro. Man, come on, bro. Y'all got to really just think about this jump, bro. Y'all looking at, dang, why you making religious? I'm not religious, bro. Stop calling me religious. I'm not religious, bro. I'm a firm believer. I, I know my Savior, Jesus Christ, is real. And I, I, I know my Father, I am that I am real, bro. They working in my life. Do y'all think in y'all right mind? <laughs> y'all got to think, bro. Do y'all just think first, bro, before y'all get in them comments and say stupid, crazy stuff, bro. This man sacrificed everything for something that ain't real. Now, why in the heck would I do something like that? I made these sacrifices, bro, because I was chosen and I know my king is real, bro. And I know my father is real, bro, because they working in my life. Get roll with Christ to get rolled over. I ain't finna keep sugarcoating up with y'all folks, bro. You either in or you out, bro. I'm not here to convert nobody. But don't knock it until you try, bro. A lot of y'all done been church hurt. A lot of y'all done been hurt because God ain't answered the prayers y'all wanted him to answer when y'all wanted him to answer them. Or y'all might lost a loved one or whatever, bro. Y'all got to understand, bro. Everybody going to, going this flesh going to go away anyway. You think your family members going to live forever? You think you going to live forever? But when it's somebody time, y'all like to be the first one to blame God. Blame God. Everybody going to go. But when it's somebody's time to go, y'all gonna blame God? Like that person that you was just crying about it gonna live forever or something? What about when you leave? You gonna be crying for yourself? Everybody gotta go. I don't see why y'all wanna live forever on this world anyway. Oh, well, my, my, my family member died. 
I'm a blank guy. He don't love me because he took my bro. That sounds selfish, dog. I know it hurt. It do, it is gonna hurt. But why all of a sudden we gotta go throw dirt on God's name because somebody time he wanted to bring somebody home. You rather that person live in this dirty world to be resting in heaven, which if I can't even we all can't even imagine with our right mind. That's selfish for you for want that person to stay down here in this world. Cause of your emotions, cause you can't handle it. Y'all gotta have faith in that man, dog. Be real. Think of your darkest moment. Did you overcome that? All right then, and don't think you did it by yourself, bro. Cause the opportunity that presented itself to get you out of that situation you was in, in some way, shape, or form, you had an opportunity. Whether that, whether that was a change in your thoughts. Whether that was an opportunity somebody came up and gave to you, however, whatever opportunity, it was an opportunity given somewhere, some way. That spark plug of grind that struck into, t- struck into you all of a sudden, that was Jesus. That wasn't you. Because if it was up to you, you would still be down where you was. Come on, bro. I'm just being honest, y'all. Y'all can like it or love it or not, bro. And, I, and, I, and I, quite frankly, bro, if y'all don't tell by now, I don't care what nobody got to say about me, bro. If y'all cannot tell by now, if, if y'all y'all been knowing me for a little minute, y'all know I'm the last person that care what somebody got to say. <laughs> no kizzy. You feel what I'm saying? But I love y'all, man. That's why I'm getting on here talking like this to y'all, bro. Because I love y'all, bro. Watch y'all bit, bro. Watch the Lord work on y'all bit, bro. So his light going to shine through me so y'all can see the glory of God. And then y'all come and get some of that splat. Some of that sauce that guy got waiting for y'all Then y'all go change y'all family members lives And y'all partners lives You feel me? Through the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ bro Hey, hey if I'm, before I lie to you I fly to you I ain't got no wings Shout out my boy KV Focus bro This is facts y'all You feel me? Go just just Hey bro I ain't got to keep explaining Go look at all the Go look at from my ASMR on to now Go look at all my old ASMR videos What I was saying in them videos to now If y'all think I wanted to quit making them big rats I was making just shoving the gun in y'all face, making sounds with it, and getting paid thousand dollars for it. If you think I would just openly give that up for no reason, you're crazy. This is the way. This is the life, bro. In Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I love y'all. We out of here.